Hey, CC and RR fans, uh, I'm back to another Lego set. I got to do this separate because CC hates Legos, as you know. This is the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. It's an idea set. It is set number 21322, 2,545 pieces. Pretty awesome. This harkens back to the original Barracuda set from 1989. Uh, this thing is a broken, dilapidated ship on an island that can transform into the original Barracuda, which is pretty awesome. As you can see here, you can set sail on the Barracuda once again with Mr. Captain Redbeard. There he is. Pretty awesome set. I'm going to get to building and I'll get you updated. See ya. So still in quarantine, I figured, you know, why not start building? This Lego Barracuda set from the Ideas line. Uh, I have built three bags so far. I built a part of the island. The two guys right there. And I started to build a part of the ship. Nice little details. Already coming through. The two beds. A nice little captain's hat there. Uh, here is the manual show you really quickly the beginning parts got all about the pirates the designers and the idea person 300 languages and then it's right into the story captain redbeard and his cronies Hey fans, I've been building all night to get through three bags of Legos. And this is where I've gotten so far. Got half of the ship this, uh, built. Got the two sails right there with a the pretty cool skull and crossbones flag. Nice dock here. Top. Got some more guys over here. Got a nice sharky shark now. And then started building the next part of the island. All right, on to bag seven. See you soon. Help me. Good day, mateys. After three more bags of the building experience i have now started and i have almost completed the front component of the barracuda this is going to be the front of the ship pretty sweet here let me get a close-up of that nice headdress of the top of the ship pretty sweet got this awesome anchor contraption that wheels the anchor down i'll show you that a little bit later and here's going to be the inside. Not a whole lot going on in there. Little bucket. Pretty sweet so far. Got that complete and I finished the island. Look at that little piglet. Nice cutesy there. Eating his little, little grublets. There you go. On the bag 10. See you in a little bit. So much building, but yet so much fun. Look how big this beast is so far. Got the front of the boat connected to the dock here. Now I've started to build the back of the boat. Look at that treasure. Nice little compass coming along. Here's the bottom of the boat. Not a whole lot in there. Let me get it from this end so you can see the goodies inside there. A little grill, a little fishy. Moving along here, got a little parrot up there. There's Mr. Redbeard himself. I'll do a little close-up of these later on. All right, I'm going to keep building. Got about three bags left. All right. Well, here we are, folks. I have completed the Pirates of Barracuda Bay first phase, the Barracuda Island. All of it is now connected. It's a pretty huge and awesome looking set. 
so much to see and so much to play with. Do a full 360 of this guy. Look at that. So many areas to play with. There are actually another 30 plus steps, about 33-ish steps, to convert this into the mighty Barracuda ship. So that's the next trek. There's actually an extra bag of pieces right there that make up the rest of the ship while having to take all the big chunks of the ship apart and adding it together. So that will be the next piece. Here's a close-up of each fig. Nice printing, no stickers in this set. And no real double-sided faces on these guys. At least I lie. I lied. You got one right there. Look at the back of that print. Let's see if we got any more. This guy, none. 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 Nope. Let's see if the women have one. Yep, there you go. Sorry. And then this girl. None on her. And none on the boy. Good morning, CC and all our fans. Here it is. The Barracuda complete in all its glory it has all its men's ready to set sail again this beautiful beast of a ship excellent 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 it took quite a bit of time to build the ship I thought you would just take it apart, but all of the reviews are accurate. There's about 30 plus more steps to assemble the ship. It's not as simple as just connecting the three pieces together. There's quite a bit of detail that goes into this. I'll show you the debris and what's left of the island momentarily. Just feast your eyes on this delightful ship. Okay, here's what's left of the two islands. See, pretty bare. Here's all the debris. Quite a bit of debris here. With the boat, little boat as well, that you don't connect like the original one. I added a lot of the debris throughout the island. Mainly these vines and little flowers. There's the jail cell that was on the boat. The little piglet's still gnawing at its grublets. Not a whole lot left here. There's a little parakeet there. Lots of debris. Final thoughts is that this is a great set. Uh, it is well built all the way around, fun. No duplication of efforts. Uh, if I had any complaints, and this is nitpicky, but there's no monkey like the original one. I know it's out of print, but having a monkey would have been critical to mimic the original. That would have been sweet. The other thing is, is that these, while they open up, they do not have cannons in them. It's just windows. And like the original one, where the cannons would go here, there was also a plank, and there's no plank here, so we're, we're, we no longer have that piece. But besides that, the biggest complaint I would have is that there's no monkey. Everything else is pretty sweet. The build to get to the ship was a little tedious, but I understand to get to the interior of the ship, you can't really do that anymore. You have to use the playset to do that. All right, until next time, fans, see ya. Hey, CC, NRR, and LEGO fans. Here is the Barracuda pirate ship, both the original version here on the right, camera right, 
and the new version, the 2020 version on the left with both boxes, that's the original box. Uh, and I'll show you that here quickly and then the box for the new version. Um, all in all, from a distance, they both look pretty similar. Um, both, as far as size is concerned, are relatively close. But uh, at the end of the day, the, the new one, just hands down, is a far more um, polished version of a ship than uh, the older version. So I'll get a close-up of this guy here. Uh, much more polished on the older Oh, I'm sorry, on the newer version. You know, the older version, what's cool about it is that you have access to the bottom, uh, the cannon shootout, as I mentioned before. Uh, so it kind of, you know, is a pirate ship with the plank and the two or the four cannons. It does have the treasure. You get two chests here and you got one that's kind of being hoisted up. And there's the precious little monkey that you get here that you do not get on the newer version. Um, besides that, um, it's just, it's a cool vintage set. Um, here's another sort of key feature that's different with the new one versus the old one. Um, the whole back of this opens up. So you have access to, um, you have access to the inside of this area where the captain's you know, secret stashes, um, pretty bare bones. There's a little map in there, but really other than that, there's not a whole lot in there. And the new version, um, while it's somewhat harder to get to it, um, it's significantly better. Um, the only, uh, you know, the knock on the new one is really to me, and again, this is very nitpicky, is that you don't get a monkey. Uh, the interior stuff is is really not, you can't get to it like you can when it's on the play set. The only thing you can really get to would be the, the top here of the captain's quarters. This, you can kind of get up and, and get, you know, get in there to see what's going on. And, and it's even still kind of, kind of hard to get to here. If I can get to it, there we go. And you can see it's significantly more detailed than on the old one, or yeah, on the old one. Uh, you both get a boat. Uh, this one, you'll note here, he's got his flag. There is no rope that comes with the new version. On the old version, there's a rope that connects it to the back of the boat. Um, and let me just do a kind of all around on this old one here. You can see where they, you know, they took a lot of homage to it. Another change, obviously, is going to be the front of the boat here. Uh, and this one's got the girl in the front here with the chalice. And I'll show you the other one on the, on the new one. It's much different. And all the way around. And then to show you the back of the boat, um, definitely kind of cool. For 1989, that's for sure. This kind of is a little clip that holds it down. You note here the flags there versus the new ones. Slightly different, the head. You know, it almost looks a little bit more Lego-y on the old one. I'm sorry, on the new one. Here's the front. Just overall better polish. There's no face on the new one. Uh, another thing that's a little different, which I like that they did, was that on this one, you get this back sail. On the original one, there is no back sail. Uh, and on the original one, compared to the new one, you get the hoist with the uh, treasure chest. Um, you don't get that on this one. In fact, if you look here where the monkey is, it goes all the way across. On this one, it goes across, but it's with, you know, that brown kind of piece there. The rest of it um, is just all around better polished. Uh, it actually looks like a ship in the interior there.
All right, I will cut to the boxes and that will be it. All right, I just wanna show you one other thing here on the ship. Um, they both have rudders. Uh, this is movable here. It, you know, goes side by side. Um, but uh, this one is just, again, more polished. And you can see it has the, the little uh, window shades there, if you will. Um, they actually are here as well, which is kind of cool. So they kind of replicated it there. Uh, you can see the back of the new version here versus this one. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you before I let show you the boxes, uh, this guy is the new one right here. And this is the vintage one. You can probably already immediately tell that out. But uh, interesting on the prints, you can see this is, they wanted to make him the older sort of, you know, weathered version with a little gray. Um, just like it's come a long way since 1989. Uh, this one has no back printing. Uh, and you can see this one's got some back printing on it. So I just wanted to show you the little difference there. Uh, this one does come with a bird, but it's a, a blue bird versus the red one. So here is the original box for this set. And um, this box is actually really big for a Lego box, especially from 1980, you know, the 80s. This is a huge box. This is comparable with various boxes that have come out now for Lego. Um, one of the big difference, though, is that they don't really do this anymore. Um, this is, you know, it opens up into this big elaborate story with pictures. It's really cool. And then here is, you know, the interior of the box where all the, the, the Legos were with the instructions. So definitely a pretty cool box. This is a two-piece box. Um, what you do is, just to show you this here, if I can get this open, um, here's the bottom or the side of it. Um, this would actually open up and you'd get the Legos out. So it's two pieces there. And I'll show you the back here. The back of the box there. And you can build it in all sorts of different things. So pretty sweet. Overall, uh, very happy. You know, the getting the original set now is kind of a thing because of the uh, the new one. It's a really, really cool set. It's a cool display piece compared to the, the new one. Um, but just like with most Lego sets, the newer versions are just always pretty close to being better. Just better built all around. But, uh, you know, get the original. It's pretty sweet. All right, CCNRR fans, see you around.